So AbbVie is, uh, you know, where Abbott was one company before 2013 and it broke into two companies where the established business, medical devices and nutrition remained in Abbott and the new company with a specialty business was formed called AbbVie and then uh, it grew on its own as AbbVie and in 2020 it acquired uh, Allergan in, in, in globally and in India we had Allergan which is a substantial business and uh, that is how AbbVie is in India today. And if you, what is the idea behind the social work uh, that so your volunteers have come? June, here? Every June, uh, AbbVie celebrates uh, AbbVie Week of Possibilities. And uh, this is where it's a global program, where every country they ask the employees to volunteer their time. It's easy to give money, but it's difficult to give time. So it asks the employees to give time. So almost 18,000 employees are participating globally in AbbVie Week of Possibilities. In India, we have almost uh, 300 uh, employees who will be participating in this uh, Abbey Week of Possibilities. We are having programs and we already finished in Bombay and Chennai. Now we are having it in Delhi today with the Shios Center for uh, elderly people who are disabled, mentally uh, you know, uh, disabled. Uh, and we are spending some time with them, we are spending today with them. And later on in 28, we will also have in Bangalore where they will have a different kind of a program. It's all about volunteering your time and uh, to the community. Uh, you head the company uh, in India. What is the message that you are trying to give to your uh, colleagues here? And what, where is this? Uh, I mean, one, it, this program is uh, global that you are following. But what is the message that you get, want to take out from this for your employees and for the public at large? Today, uh, India, while it is a young country, almost 7% of its population is more than 70 years old. So we have almost 100 million people who are you know, more than 65, 70 years old. So elderly management and elderly uh, uh, caregiver, caregiving is going to become a challenge for us. And in each one of our families, we have somebody who's old. And they require a lot of care. They need attention. They need uh, uh, you know, uh, people to speak to them. And today what we are doing is actually is giving that social consciousness to our employees by spending time with these elderly people and uh, making them aware that elderly people require support and needs looking after and this is what the young generation can give them. Uh, you, uh, where are the other places that you volunteer? What are those segments or sectors of people, so in, uh, cohorts of people that yeah, you so work we with? We have tried to uh, you know, look at different segments of the population. The other one is uh, uh, mentally disabled children. For example, Cerebral Palsy Association of India is where we did the activity in Bombay. Again, it is a, they're doing human service because children also sometimes get abandoned by their parents. So they are looking after all these children. So it was a, a very, uh, you know, one day which we spent with the children, making things, making soft toys, drawing for them, sitting with them, talking to them. And some of them, even with the cerebral palsy, they are so intelligent. So it was a, you know, it was a wonderful feeling. Uh, uh, spending time with them. Similarly, we are we had a disability uh, again, a similar kind of a disabled uh, people uh, kind of concept in Chennai, and we are going to do a similar thing in uh, in Bangalore. So we have focused on these segments of our society which are neglected, which needs a lot of support from everybody, and we are looking at at least uh, making our employees aware of this and contributing their time to it. Uh, what is I mean, apart from the charity work or the social work or the volunteering work that uh, you, you, you entrust your people to get into, yeah. how tough it is to see the pain and, uh, and, and be part of it, share their pain, and, 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 and it is emotionally uh, challenging, if not distressing. See, I, I know, I, uh, we have had elderly, my wife's father was 89 when he passed away. And he required a lot of care in the last four or five years of his time because of kidney disease and other things. All of us have elderly people, so it was tough. For me, the Cerebral Palsy Association of India was pretty interesting because my elder son was a physically challenged, mentally challenged child. So we had to look after him for six to seven years. So my wife and myself, we have gone through that joy and pain, I would call both. We miss him so much. But looking at those children brought back memories uh, thing, and I hope, and uh, many people, many of our employees also felt very differently after interacting with these children because now when they work with other colleagues, as well as people reporting to them who have challenged children, they know exactly what is the uh, effort they need to put in to look after these children. So it was emotionally touching for me, for sure. If I uh, ask you to put a corporate hat, what is the message that you would like to give to other corporates? I would suggest that these are segments which uh, needs a lot of support. I know that uh, the Shio Center here 
is getting a lot of support from HCL Foundation and Azim Premji Foundation. I'm, I'm sure that there are a lot of corporates out there. Let us use our CSR money very wisely and look at those segments of the society which really needs that support. In addition to what the government is already giving us support to make sure that we are all able to help the segments of society do that. Thank you very much and I wish the, 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 the vibes that you spread goes on and becomes a movement. Thank you so much.